Warning: This stream will be in English and can contain foul language. This is the start. <clears throat> This is about me playing Nautica. Um, as you can see here, it's an English stream, so we're just gonna do this playing out English, so people of the entire world can enjoy Subnautica from your strainer TV. And uh, the reason that I wanted to do this is, if I'm going to my play, we're going to start a new game, but you can see that I have a hardcore file. Oh no, it's, it's okay, it, it's okay if you speak Dutch, don't, don't worry about it. Um, anyway, if you see on my play file, there is actually a file on hardcore. This was my first file, and this is actually kind of funny, because Thanks to the Magikarp trainer, Mume, you know them from uh, the Hardcore series from uh, Minecraft. He actually told me, Oh, they're Hardcore, it will be fun now. You know what, no, maybe maybe you shouldn't do Hardcore. You know, he was really sarcastic, telling me that I shouldn't do Hardcore. So I clicked the Hardcore button, he was laughing, and he was like, ha, 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 ha. And I never expected to come this far. Now, um, I will tell, uh, I will uh, say that in a moment, uh, Jan Barent. Uh, just, just one moment, let, let me explain this first. So, I started the hardcore game, and as you can see, 2 days, 14 hours and 26 minutes. That means that I have a game of 62 hours, and if I died in that game, the file would be gone forever. So, I have to say that was really, really, really creepy me out. So this is not a blind playthrough, and uh, because of that... I did it already on Hardcore, and because this is going to be in streaming on YouTube as well, English, because why not? Um, we're just going to do survival, so we are going to focus on not dying. I will really give me a big penalty if I die, but I don't want to lose the progress because I'm gonna do it on YouTube. Live streams, so all the live streams will be recorded. Well, they will be uploaded on YouTube, let's put it that way. So, anyway, Subnautica, we're just gonna start level. What is this game about? It's about survival, you will see in a second. And loading actually takes forever. But once it's loaded, it's gonna work. You will see. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm reading chat. I'm, I'm, I'm reading chat now. Uh, let's see, this is a dumb question, but do you know where CSGO knives are? CSGO knives? No idea what that is. Anyway, this game is about surviving. Monster Hunter in another planet of an ocean. Well, actually, no, because there are no weapons. You don't have weapons. There's no way of defending yourself. You will see that. I'm gonna be scared. Oh, by the way, there was also um, editor. Make sure in the beginning of this live stream uh, on YouTube, make sure you put a language warning because I'm gonna scream and be scared a lot. So. You followed. Why is there no pop-up uh, coming? Is it not working? Well, just give me a moment. It's still loading, so... Uh, Lord Box, are you working? Should be working. I hear the sound. Uh, that's actually testing, so... <laughs> okay, let's see on my screen. Weird, yes. Oh, but the cat team. I don't know, maybe right click the red line and say that, uh, yeah, it's working. I see that. Welcome, Traders TV, to Team by Team Eevee. Yay! Press any button to continue. Button. No, just kidding. Let, let's do this. Oh boy. Okay, we are in an escape pod. We have to escape from an exploding ship. Oh my god, this is going to be so much fun. This is going to be so much fun, you guys. 
And Flabuski! Ah! I'm dead. I'm dead. Game over. That was the stream. Thank you all for watching and uh, goodbye. Good night, sir. No! We're still alive. We were just only passing out. Let me go! Let me go! Oh my god, seriously, my, my computer. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we have to get the fire extinguisher and. Spray! Spray it! Altera! <laughs> 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 Everything has to this load around here. Minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. I don't believe this it. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, well, thank you. Uh, I I'm gonna give you a name. How are we going to uh, call the computer lady uh, woman? How are we going to call that? Uh, leave it in the chat, guys. Uh, for the YouTubers, this is live streaming, so I'm interacting a lot with the chat as well. Anyway, we are here um, in our escape pod, and there's a lot of smoky, so I'm going to open a window very shortly. Anyway, we have some water, uh, we have some nutrient blocks uh, that we can use. I don't need the fire extinguisher right now. So we have that, uh, we have some flares that I'm not going to use, and we have food. And apparently I only have half food at this point. Yeah, the music is awesome. So, anyway, <clears throat> how are we going to call her? Uh, in my hardcore, I actually call her Gladys. And okay, that's the seed. Let's just look at the world. <laughs> Welcome to Subnautica. Okay, so that's the ship that we were in. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. I see Lady PC, that's the name. Lady PC or Tag. Come on, guys, you can go better with that. Otherwise, we're just gonna call her Vivian, and I'm actually going for Vivian because Vivian is a water name, so why not? Anyway, voice that we don't have a name to yet. Stop interrupting me when I'm explaining. So, anyway, that's the Aurora. We crashed down there, and this is an entire ocean, and we have nothing. And we have to gather supplies, make our own base, do stuff. There is a story that I'm not going to spoil that you can actually see in live streams. And if you miss the live stream, you can see it back on YouTube. Um, about this game, there is actually an ending in the story, and welcome to Subnautica. Now, as you can see, the green one, that's my oxygen meter. Uh, if it runs out, I will die, and that is a peeper! I want a peeper! Peeper! I want a peeper. Yay! I got a peeper, and I want to have a boomerang fish as well. Give me a boomerang fish. Give me a boomerang fish. I want the boom... Oh my gosh, I'm swimming so slow. I want a boomerang fish. Let's call her Monica. Now you're getting somewhere. Navi. <laughs> actually, Navi is actually sounding pretty good, because we Navi is annoying, and... Navi is... Oh, oh, they have unexpected applications. Utilizing alien resources is a prudent survival strategy. I actually like the name Navi. I actually like it. Anyway, uh, my camera's not blocking anything. Uh, Eevee's not blocking anything, so that's okay. You can actually see the peeper. That's okay. That's cool. Uh, what we are going to need is... We're going to need some basic materials. And you can actually find them across the ocean. And you're gonna need more eventually to build more stuff and there are caves and all that stuff. For example, this is limestone and in limestone there can be copper and in copper uh, there can also be in titanium. We have quartz here. Uh, with quartz you can make glass. It's, it's really self-explanatory so I'm not gonna go in too much details of explaining you everything about that. So the goal of the game at this point is surviving and exploring what our mission is. The end goal is escaping. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna spoil to the ending. So there is an ending and that's actually amazing. And what's this? Raft wrap fragment? I don't- I don't have a scanner! Darn it! Ah, uh, okay, seriously, uh, first objective. We're going to see a first objective. I'm, I'm gonna see a first objective. Which is food, because I don't have any food. 
No, this is not like Minecraft because this actually has a story. Um, okay, let's see. What can we make? We can make some food. We can make some water. So let's do that. Now, this actually has a story and an ending. So, and I got to the ending in my hardcore file that I'm not going to spoil again. So. Navi, can you shut up? I'm trying to explain stuff. Thus rendering them safe for human consumption. Shut. Thank you. So, we're actually cooking fish with this fabricator that actually helps us. And as you can see, we can make glass, we can make silicone rubber, uh, we need titanium, we can make bleach. We can make some tools here, we can make an air bladder, we can make a survival knife, and that's actually the one that I was want to go for. And we also need to go for a battery uh, and titanium to make a scanner, because with the scanner we can actually make a lot of stuff. So, you already have water, you're swimming in it. Okay, BK Life Gaming, seriously, if you're stranded in the ocean and you're gonna drink ocean water, good luck with that, seriously. It's bad for your health. Uh, anyway, this is not staying good forever, so I'm just gonna eat this. Everything is on full, that's okay. Okay, let's see if we can finally get some titanium here. We can also actually go downstairs. Whoa! Hello. Oh, and by the way, thank you for noticing that my moustache is growing again. I'm really glad that my mushroom is back. Okay, we need some of those. And now I'm gonna search for some titanium. Where are we anyway? Uh, there are some floaty rocks and hi you actually are kind of dangerous because you can poop and oh no 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 that's deadly that's extremely deadly we don't we don't want that you can buy it on steam it was a long time on early access but um they got it out of early access now and it's actually full-fledged working game and finally some titanium this is actually really handy because that's four titanium in one. And I love the music, by the way. Okay, got some more titanium. Got some copper. That's nice. It'd be actually kind of nice to explore some because we're going to get vehicles. We're going to get submarines and all that stuff. That's that's one of the be best things in this game. At this point, it's like, ah, you're like 10 meters below and you're very short on oxygen. Uh, I actually need some uh, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm swimming, Navi, shut up! Yeah, I'm actually trying not to block the, um, the things. I know um, advice is popping up in the left corner, uh, my stats are in the left corner downstairs, so... Oh my god, uh, there's so much cannibal stuff here. But I need stuff. Uh, hi, hi. I, I want you here. I need my Vaporeon here as well. Why is Vaporeon not with me? Okay, anyway. Oh boy. There's our first hostile. Hello. I'm just going here. I'm taking this! It's mine now! Okay. No, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I want this, I want this. Grab it! Grab it! Please grab it. Okay, okay, I got stuff. I got stuff. I got stuff. I got stuff. Gotta leave. 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 No. Don't. Don't. No. No. I'm about. I'm about. I'm about. I'm about. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. I will explain in a sec. Okay. Cool. Uh, all those meters. Hi, Jasper Janssma. A lot of those names, I love it. They are, they are awesome. Anyway, um, the red one is my health, as you can see. If that actually hits zero, I die. And that would be bad. The yellow one is my food meter that shows how hungry I am and that I need some food. The blue one is my water meter that actually show how thirsty I am. If that hits zero or the food hits zero, then my left goes to zero and then I die. That would be bad. And the green one is my oxygen meter, and that shows how much oxygen I have left. Hopefully, uh, Phil, please. Please, Phil. Isn't he nice? He's the nicest guy around, seriously. Please, Phil. You gotta fill. <laughs> you have to fill, you know. Okay, anyway, I wanna have some rubber, because I can actually make a lot with rubber. I actually get a lot of rubber from uh, those things. You get actually two of them now, which is amazing. 
is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Thanks. Thanks for telling me that. I have a cooked peeper. I can make a cooked peeper. Do you want... Navi, do you want to have a cooked peeper? Because I have a cooked peeper. Do you want one? I also have salt. And with salt, I can actually make a, a salt deposit peeper. That actually is food that stays good forever. So maybe you want that. Anyway, I can make some equipment. I can make fins! Uh, can I actually make a standard O2 tank? Almost. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. You know, Navi was just like, hey, listen, I have to tell you something, and you're just interrupting me. That's rude. Stop it. Jeez. Really, really not a big fan of that. Okay, um, anyway, we want to make some titanium, and the, the racks that we got, that's actually four titanium each, so that's actually a very good one. So yeah, uh, okay, we have that, so now we can actually make an oxygen tank, if I'm not mistaken. Yup, there we go. And you can see that the O2 meter actually goes to 75 now, so... No, 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 I didn't want to make a second one. I wanted to make the big one, but I don't have silver yet. Darn it! it takes a lot of space. That that's just taking a lot of space. I, I don't like that. Do I actually have enough to make a battery already? I do. Okay, then let's make a battery. New Maybe I'm gonna buy this game as well. My mother dropped some things at the floor, so you know it. Do I have to drop things on the floor now as well? Maybe that second O2 tank that I'm not gonna use. Um, anyway, I wanna make a survival knife. That's one of the essential. That's one of the most important things to have, actually. Uh, one of those things. So, Weapons uh, were removed from standard there. survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Welcome to this dreadful place this this horrifying place where monsters are working in the dark and we're not giving you any weapons or the ability to create any weapons navi you're a bitch you know it that's not a knife that's a knife <laughs> i don't know where that reference is from but anyway um so we have that but i also want to make the scanner asap which will be tools right here actually building it it's self-explanatory you can actually see where it's built and you see the ingredients that you need and sometimes you actually need some ingredients for example rubber well rubber you can actually make in the resources in the basic materials and then rubber is right over there and you can actually see this, how you can make rubber so can i donate of course you can if you want i'm would be very glad actually because that's actually helping the studio as well so to be honest youtube is like remember i'm doing this for fun i'm not doing like please donate i need your money no i will never do that seriously and you shouldn't either just show the option like you can donate if you want but it's optional it's not that i'm gonna treat you better i'm just gonna thank you hug you and love you forever but uh still i do that to every viewer actually so it would be amazing, but only do it if you really, really want to. And do I want to make a second battery? Because I want to make some tools, and... Did I already make the scanner? No, I didn't, right? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's make the scanner, because the scanner is a very important tool. The well done, EV Games. I'm, I'm very proud. I'm, I'm really proud. From salvage technology and to a cold alien biological data, detecting increased local radiation levels trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet four. Okay, Navi, at the moment that I care, I will call you. You will be very lonely. Anyway, we have our scanner because we're going to explore, but there is a lot of things that we need to scan. Uh, first, let me drink some water because I'm running low on water. Uh, I have the rubber, I have that. Is there anything else that I want to make? Um, we have a pin so we can swim a little bit faster. We have the scanner, which is amazing. We have the knife, which is amazing. Uh, let's see, is there any other tool that I want to make? A flashlight. 
I need a battery in glass. Well, I can make another flat, 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 flat. The repair tool is actually more important, so uh, that doesn't need a battery. Hmm. What happens? What happens? Oh! Thanks, young Baron. Thank you very much. <laughs> I actually got surprised by that. Like, what happens? I forgot about the music. Oh my god! Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, Jan. Thanks. Or Jan. Yeah. I'm just gonna say Jan Barend because it's a Dutch name and you pronounce it as Jan Barend. So, I'm just gonna say Jan Barend. Anyway, thanks. Evie would love the Poke Puffs. Um, anyway, we have the knife we wanted to make. Seriously, now I'm lost. Um, well, we can actually make a Habitat Builder as well, but I need more equipment for that. Uh, yeah, let's make the flashlight. Let's just make a flashlight. So, we need... Battery. Yeah, but for short, you know, for short, saying it's saying it quickly. Because if I have to say it quickly, it's like that, that's really hard to do, actually. Um, anyway, we needed to make glass. The glass is right over there. And then we're going to explore. An adventure! Yeah, I sounding like Peter Butter Gamer again, I'm sorry. I mean Thanks to the hardcore series that I did, everybody's like, oh god, uh, just like Peanut Butter Gamer. And that's actually the reason how I found Peanut Butter Gamer, so it actually is kind of funny. And I'm still holding that peeper, like, and he's like, dude, what are you gonna do? Just let me go, man. Let me go. You know, I I'm actually feeling sorry for this guy, so I'm, I'm really gonna let him go. <laughs> because, aww. There you go, buddy. Have a nice life. Okay, so we're going to explore, and like I said, there are scannable things, and we're going to need a lot of them. Uh, let's see, do I have... Yeah, I, I want to actually have uh, empty storage. Uh, thank you, EV Games. Thank you very much. Oh, GB. GB. Okay, Jan Barend is now GB. So if I'm talking about GB, and then I'm talking about Jan Barend. You know, the guy who just donated 5 euros. Thanks again. Uh, anyway, we don't need the rubber, we don't need the lubricant, because why do we need that? We can take this, well, I don't need salt with me, I don't need these materials, we're just going to leave, and we're going to explore. And be quiet. Okay, so we're going to explore, and the goal is to actually search for technology that we can build. For example, we want to make the sea glider, which is a thingy that we can... Yeah. Oh, we can actually do a self-scan. Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Yay! Continuing to monitor. So we can actually scan these fragments. And now we have one uh, of two. That means that we have to scan another one to actually build that thing. Although this thing is kind of useless. I didn't use it in my hardcore file as well. So, But still, you can make it. And it gives you a blueprint how you can make it. And I really am not a fan of those fishes. Yes, Navi. You're not glad that you're not here. My goal is to laugh when you fail. I'm not gonna fail. I survived this on hardcore. And like I said, you have to decide what the penalty is if I die. I believe that you lose some of the items that you have. Again, I played this live on hardcore because I like the challenge. And because we're not playing this time on hardcore because Coral Shell played. You can scan. Well, it's pointless to scan that. But I know that regular coral is necessary to make some water. Hello. Can you please bluff me? Holy Jesus! <laughs> okay, don't don't poof me. Don't. Just don't. I hope you're not gonna die. I hope that as well. Because dying would be very sad. Anyway, we can make these that then we get creepy vine, and with that we can actually make stuff. Okay, you know what? Let's just go into this dangerous area right here. Shut it! I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna ignore you. I'm gonna ignore you. Take the salt. Take the salt. Take the salt. Because I'm very salty. Okay, now is there something scannable here? Because I want to build a sea glider and I actually got a fish. I think I want to take some coral with me so I can make water. There we go. That's good. Because our goal right now is to make the sea glide, which makes us swim ultra fast. 
And if we got that, then we can actually, like, explore caves, because then we are a lot quicker, so... Fail 2 income. I... Um, on normal mode, you just respawn at your safe base. In this case, our escape pod. On hardcore, if you die, it's game over. And I have to say that I've been through a lot of scary moments when I actually was playing this on hardcore. And remember, I, I showed you, I beaten this on hardcore, so... And that was actually my blind play playthrough, and I learned a lot, so... Fun fact is... I also actually want to, like, try stuff. Uh, for example, is this possible or is that possible? And if it ends up in dying, it doesn't really matter that much because this is not on hardcore, so... Okay. No, 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 no! Oh, piss off! There's actually stuff down there. Oh, that's just... Well, anyway, we need cave sulfur. That's good. We can actually take some quartz and copper here. I believe that there's some silver here maybe as well. Because limestone actually has titanium and... No, 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 I don't actually want to... You know what? I'm just going to put that away. I will pick that up later. It's very easy to get by, so... I mean, we're not... Oh, God! Oh! Oxygen. I know! How deep am I? Oh, my God! No! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, my God! Oh! <gasps> What is a Leviathan? The most dangerous thing in this ocean. Well, actually on the surface. There's something more creepy. I actually don't know. Do I have my screenshots on here? I don't believe so. No, okay. Good. That's good. Oh my god. That thing scared the crap out of me. Oh god. Okay. Anyway. Um, we have a lot of stuff. We can make some water. Uh, I, need a, I need a medication kit. Give it. Oh my god. Okay, so we have cave stuff. So I believe. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe. I can explain it to titanium. Always handy, you slowly die. I will stay awake, however, Link. I will not die. Well, actually, I hope I can actually take some sleep somewhere, but. Oh well, we'll we will see. Uh, I don't need glass. I want to make a repair tool. And I need my rubber. Where's flubber? Well, I have rubber. With that repair tool, we can actually repair the ship. Uh, tools, right over there. Repair. Yeah, you have a couple of seconds. It's like really creepy. If you hit zero and you're still on the water, your screen slowly turns black like you're passing out. And if you don't hit the surfer in that time, you actually hear the dead sound and then it's game over. <sighs> Anyway, we have the repair gun. This is actually one of the best tools ever, because you can repair practically everything. So, repairing that? Life support secondary systems online. Running full environment diagnostic and outputting results to databank. Yay! We can also repair our radio. That's like 11 years. Damn. Okay, anyway, we have the power now. We have a radio signal, so they know that we crashed, and hopefully they will come and help us. If not, then we are going to have a big problem. Anyway, what we have to do now is, let's see, we can... Can we? No, we still don't have silver. Um, we're going to need... I don't have any of titanium. 
We're going to need to scan some stuff because I really want to explore more and do more. Pathfinder tool is handy for caves, but not really that. We want to make a habitat builder, but we need silver for that. Uh, we have some food. We have water. Who I going? Yeah, I'm going to make some water. And this is actually kind of funny because what we can do is we can make water out of the bladder fish, as you just saw. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> yes, that's actually why we call the computer Navi. Um, what you can make is, with the materials that we have, uh, you can actually make bleach. And with bleach, you can actually make, and this sounds really weird, with bleach you actually make drinkable water. So with salt and table coral, we can actually make some drinkable water. So that's amazing. Anyway, we're just gonna put these materials back here. Okay, our inventory is full right now. We can make some deployables, but we're not gonna need them right now. And like I said, we're just gonna try and scan some good stuff. And hopefully not forget that I have an oxygen meter that runs out if I'm under the water. Under the sea, under the sea. Everybody's happy. Why am I going here? This is a dumb idea, isn't it? This is a dumb idea. Why am I going to do this? Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Oh jeez! Piss off! Piss off! Oh, ow. Okay, where's your plant? I need your plant. I, I need your sulfurish sulfurness and there's oxygen here. Can I curse you with the witch of the power band drown? Seriously, is that meme still going around these days? Isn't that a little bit of an old meme? Uh, let's see, I actually want to keep that for later. Oh, by the way, there are lockers, and I'm going to name the lockers after the viewers. I really enjoy that. So, uh, that's one That's one thing I actually thought of when I was deciding whether to do this live stream or not. Acid mushroom, these are very easy to come by. I hear another fish that's going to explode in my face because I'm not quick enough. you stupid fish thingy no oh my god I actually need to find surface here because now I'm actually scared you can make oxygen tanks but you can only equip one and you can expand them for example we need silver at this point and if we find silver we can actually make a bigger oxygen tank which we really need because seriously look how deep that goes and we need to find the sea glide. So, I'm actually gonna search for a wreck that actually has a lot of scannables. Scannables. And hopefully it's not getting nights because... Oh! Speaking of... We can now catch small fish with a trap. Like we need that. Anyway, something in here in this box. Is there something here? Is there something I can scan? Is there something here maybe? That's not scannable. That's that's bullcrap! No, 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 I think I have to go to the creepy forest. How much is my info? Okay. Um, there's some titanium. Open up! I'm just gonna go over here. You can get me, you can get me. Na, 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 na. Splash! I'm a magic carpet in the sea! Oh wait, there's actually table coral here. Thanks for exploding there! Really enjoy that! How deep did you go uh, in your hardcore gameplays? I finished the game, that's all I'm gonna say. You will see it later on in these streams. Of course the beginning always goes a little slow. But that's the beginning of the game. And that's kind of creepy. What's that? Is that just the plant? I hope it is. Oh, I'm really gonna be scared. Anyway. Find parts of the sea glide. And I don't see parts of the sea glide. I only hear roars. And I don't like roars. I'm just gonna swim. I'm just gonna keep, just keep swimming. With the power of a. Okay, BK Live Gaming, seriously, if you're going to be that mean, then you will be muted next time. So please stop being so mean. Oh, there's actually 
What is that? Oh, that's just a light. <laughs> okay, is there any way, anything here that we can scan? Because that would be cool. Is there something in the air? No. Hello? No. I need a thingy that makes me swimmy faster-y. Please. Because that's kind of deep. And I only have limited amounts of oxygen. Please don't bite me. Don't. Shut it. Okay, I don't see anything near here. Oh, wait. No, no, that's just stuff. Whoa, the fish is using self-destruct. It's not very effective. Well, not if, I, if you know what they're doing. Oh, it actually looks beautiful. What is that? Is that one of those caves that goes really deep already? Local scans show a nearby cave entrance, depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. I know. Uh, shall we not go there? Oh. Oh, look at that. Um, okay. I actually found stuff. Wait, we're 90 meters deep. Oh, there's actually stuff there. I actually want to see that. The only problem is, I don't swim that fast. Scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave Eevee games, I have one equipped right here. And I can make it bigger, but then we need silver. And we didn't, ex yeah, we didn't find any silver yet. So when we find it, we can actually make a bigger oxygen tank. But for now, we have to do with the materials that we have at this moment. And I don't have a laser cutter tool to open that, but maybe... Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Navi, that's actually kind of... I'm actually kind of glad that you're telling me that. Because that's really, really dangerous and we... Oh my god, we're like half a kilometer away from our life pod. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm gonna do something right now. Uh, Jan Baron, do you want to be a moderator of our uh, live stream chat? Because... Hench! Actually, doing a very good job there. Uh, do you want to be a moderator? Let me know. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, I have to focus a little bit because seriously, we need silver, then we can go a little deeper, and we need to find the sea glide fragments, and I think... I can actually find some if we're going to get closer to the ship. I'm not really sure. And please stop following me. What's that? Laser cutter. I need. I need. Give me. 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 And you stay away, please. Okay. One of three. That's good. Okay. Just give me a moment. I will. Uh, excuse me. My coffee. I will do that in a sec. Just, just give me a small moment. Um, that. Okay, I have time. Not lo oh, there's actually another thingy. There's actually a lot of caves here. You know what? We're just going to get closer a little bit to the aurora. Hopefully, find stuff there. I saw hundreds of mods doing bad things. Yeah, but I actually select my mods very carefully. To the people I trust. And I actually trust all of you. But some of you actually need some padding on the fingers like, no, 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 that's not allowed in here. So please, don't. Anyway, we're just gonna swim. Let's swim to the crashed plane. Maybe we can actually find some loot down there. I mean, our inventory is pretty chunk full. I don't care. It's actually getting dark and we got a radio message. Wait, what's down here? Maybe there's a, a counter? Okay. Okay, just, just one moment. I'm just gonna... GB, there we go. GB. There we go. It's so easy. It shows you how healthy you are. And at this point, we are very healthy. It should be a voice actor or something. Okay, well, we have a blueprint from I don't know what. You can actually see that later on. We have a radio. Me. 
Okay, is there something useful down here? Ooh. God, I watch my oxygen. There's something there. What's that? Is that something? 30 seconds. You know what? I have this brain coral right here. Please splooch me. Oh, give me the splooch. Anyway, Caution. GB. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Yeah, you do that, Navi, and then I'm just gonna see that I can actually see a be beacon fragment here, which is actually pretty nice. Because beacons are handy if you actually see stuff that you want to explore, but don't have the materials, but want to come back later too. So, anyway, if it's gonna explode shortly, then maybe it should be a good idea to go to the Aurora right now. And we don't want to get too close because... If we're getting too close, we're going to get to some very dangerous stuffs. So, we really want to be careful for that. Anyway. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Just piss off. Thank you. Alright. Are we getting closer? Because it sure looks deeper here. Well, we're getting closer. I'm just going to follow this direction a little bit. Because I know that we can get close right now, but later on we can't. So we really want to make advantage out of that. Because Navi actually gave us the warning that something bad is going to happen there shortly. And I see some scannable stuff. I think it's a sea glide. Nice. Okay, that's one. We only need two. Uh, that's titanium. Remember, we need silver. Just one. <gasps> we can make the sea glide, guys. All right. Acquired. Could you please not do self destruct? Thank you. I want the beacon. I want the beacon. No. Ah, that was actually a lot of damage. Acquired. That actually hurt. I see another thing down there. There's a lot of scannable things down here. I thought Stevie was born for danger. That's why I'm here, I guess. Coffee vending machine? That's that's my thing. I need it. Give me. So, I can make a coffee vending machine now? Is that a thing? Is that a thing I can do? I actually thought I saw something else, but... I mean, we can make the sea glide, that's very nice, but... Coral, limestone, yeah, that's giving me titanium or copper. I don't need, I need a sandstone chunk, actually. What's that? Not a beacon fragment, we already could make a beacon. So we're getting titanium out of it. Yay, great. Uh, that's limestone. I need sandstone. Oh, wait. Thirty seconds. Thank you, Navi. Yep. That's the thing. That's actually a lot of people are scared of the ocean. I'm not really that scared, but I wouldn't go into deep waters um, even if I had the opportunity. Let's put it that way. I mean, I don't live very close by the ocean. Oh god, no, 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 no. Okay, I live, I live, I live, I live. I don't know how, but I still am alive. I actually want to collect that stuff they actually drop because it's deadly to not pick that up. Uh, well, it's actually dangerous to put it to, to to get it. So, oh, there's more. There we go. Thirty seconds. Uh, BK. The problem is, it is in different planets. True, but the biggest problem is. What if it wasn't? There are a lot, as uh, GB said, there is a lot of unexplored ocean in our world, in our Earth. There are so many... Radiation! No, 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 Okay, there's radiation. We're just gonna find for silver. We can make the sea glide now. We just need to know the materials. And we gotta find some silver. And then I will be very happy because then we can actually explore and maybe already start on our own base which would be awesome 
And we had that radio message as well, so maybe it's a good idea to go back home. Why not? You would know more about the moon than about the ocean. Yep. For example, we know that the moon is not a, it's not a circle, it's actually a square. But because of our, um, our atmosphere, it actually deforms our vision, so we actually see this round thing in the sky while it's actually a square. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking, but we know more about our moon than about the ocean, and that's because we don't have the materials yet to go so deep. Because water pressure is one of the most um, difficult things actually to handle. If you have a submarine, for example, they can go underwater, but still a certain depth. So, did you ever watch that stream that have hundreds of people watching, but the streamer not have many contacts with the chat? That's lame! What's the point of streaming then? Then just make a video on YouTube, edit stuff, make jokes! For example, this is a live stream, it says it right there. Let's stream Subnautica English and another thing. So, um, they know that I'm streaming, so the YouTubers don't have the interaction that I have with you guys, but hopefully for the next stream, because probably there's going to be a next stream. I hope for myself that there's going to be an next stream. I'm going to be very angry at myself if there's not going to be another live stream. And I actually want to make the sea glide. Okay, I need a battery, I need lubricants. I have that. I have titanium, copper wire, and a battery. I think I can actually make... Uh, that we have copper wire, and... I don't have copper in my inventory, but do I have copper here? I still have copper here. Nice. Uh, acid mushrooms. Do I still have some acid mushrooms? Don't see them. They should be very easy to get. I also actually need something to eat. Should be good. Thank you. Uh, I don't see any. Uh, nope. So far, no, nothing. And I still have that standard O2 tank in my inventory. And that actually takes a lot of space that I don't want to remove. Anyway, the mushrooms are right down there. Yeah, thanks, Jasper. The problem is, I actually am screaming my lungs out at some points, and I really want to work more on YouTube as well. But the problem is, I also want to have some time for myself, or playing a game, or interact with viewers. And I also have my work, like I said on the Paper Mario video, so... And Friday, I'm actually going to... This this is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. Uh-huh. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. So, there's another life pod. That need... Ooh. We reported their sea glide damage. Well, I already got the sea glide. Seriously, my nose is itchy. How do I donate? Where is the description? Uh, down there, there's actually a thing that says donate. You click on the image and you go to the donate page. That's actually how it works. Anyway, uh, I want to make a battery. And we're going to help CPOP 3 as soon as possible. Okay, let's make... Okay, I need my lubricants. Luby! Okay, there we go. And now, we can actually make our own sea glide. The sea glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay. So... We can actually swim a lot faster now, thanks to the technology that we just have. And do I have water on me? I do not. At least I don't see any water on me. Uh, maybe it would be smart to actually take some water with us. Um, okay, C plus. I hope they actually stay uh, on touch. Okay, two of those. I need two table coral. And with that, I can actually make bleach. bleach is an no, you can't increase your health. I can heal myself with a med kit. Water. Which is actually a very good idea. Thank you, GB. 
Um, pet kit, thank you. Okay, um, I have to bleach now. With bleach, I can actually make water! I don't have PayPal, what picture? The picture on the live stream, but if you don't have PayPal, you can donate, I'm sorry. The only thing I have is, um... Navi! We know that we have to drink, you don't have to explain that to us, seriously. Anyway, we have some water, so now we can actually survive a little bit better. And now... My inventory is kind of full, but I don't care. We need to find some silver as well. But first, let's go to life pot 3, it's right over there. And with this, we can actually swim very fast. Oh! <laughs> it looks so beautiful! It's beautiful! It's true! That's limestone. I need sandstone. Because sandstone can actually hold silver. Is that sandstone? We have another radio message? That's limestone as well. I need sandstone. Sandstone. I need sandstone. Thanks, GB. Like I said, you're a very good moderator. I'm not disappointed to actually join you. To actually say to you, welcome to the moderator crew. Stop looking at that thing! Seriously, it's beautiful. You build it. It's wonderful. Mwah! Delicious! Now, please, just focus. Let's go to Life Pot 3. They are in need of our assistance. They need our help. And what's that? Is that something I can scan? <gasps> oh, this is actually very important. I need this. Okay, I know that there's a radio signal, but first we're going to be fucking... No, I should be tanking you with their sandstone. Great! Silver? Wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Thank you, Navi. Can you please shut up now? Okay, there's all limestone. I don't want limestone. No, but seriously, GB, I have to thank you. Uh, see, we're, we're actually going away thanks to you. Life Pod 3 is over there. Hello. Oh my god, there's actually a sea glide. That's pointless. Anyway, are you on the surface? Are you somewhere? That actually sounded a bit British. Hello. What's this? A compass! Oh, that's actually nice. Oh, and a PDA? Nice. Integrating new PDA data. Oh my god, it's turning into night time. Anyway, it was a sea glide piece, but we already have the sea glide. And we have the silver, so we can actually increase our oxygen tank and get more stuff done, which would be nice. Shut it! Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna speed things up. Let's go. Yoink. I actually need a laser cutter there. Dude! You look spotty! Okay, where's actually our life pod? Oh, okay, it's over there. I love it actually how fast we are right now. And with the silver, we... Is that salt? I need some more salt. There's sandstone. Is that gold? Nice. Nice. Sandstone is really handy right now. Yeah, I know, Navi. But now we're now we're fast. Uh, don't roar, please. Oh, oh, hi. You're huge. You, what do you have on your back? Seriously, what is that? You have a lot on your back. You have an oxygen. You have a portable oxygen thingy? Can I have that? Can I take that with me, please? Can I be your friend? Can I scan you? Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Whoa, jeez. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Whoa, jeez, what? Vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Oh my god, seriously? You're shooting me? I want to scan this thingy. Okay, we have to read back. It actually gives information about what it is, so... Uh, you can kill some of the small fish, but you can't actually kill a lot of big fish. Uh, for example, the stalker, 
there is a possible way of killing the stalker, but also it's really dangerous to do so. Because remember, we're really fragile at the moment. And we actually saw PDA 3. Oh, jeez! No! No, 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 no! Don't poop at me! Don't! Okay, where's, where's the lockbox? Where? Oh, right there. Well, you can stab everything, but it will not be very effective. Okay, first of all, uh, let's see, we have a lot of on our inventory, but first let's actually see what we got, because we have some data, we have alien eggs. Evidence suggests that a subnormal number, if not all, of the local species were boostable through egg laying. Eggs can be found resting on the seafloor, buried beneath destrious, or even wedged into cracks in the rocks. Different species live, blah blah blah, we don't care, we just want to survive. Okay, data downloads, we know about the Aurora survivors in life part 3. Oh, this is actually voice! Okay, here we go. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rig to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the maths, I'll be terrified. Okay, so they try to use a power cell to the sea glide, but probably it failed and they got killed by something very speedy. The webcam dude is just it's just what? What about my webcam? Thank you, Eevee Games. Thanks for dropping by. I actually wonder, do I have my drinks with me? Because I had some coffee before I started dream it. streaming, but... Uh, dreaming. <laughs> uh, Cattery tree, ocean planet, oxygen, nitrogen... Oh, that's actually my scan. That's... Safety warnings. May support Leviathan class predators. Fireman scan. Oh. And that's actually the things that we scanned. The brain coral. It actually explains that it gives you oxygen. And the... Reef back, Leviathans. <laughs> it's actually under Leviathans. This fast form is excess of 30 meters long and it has been designated Le Leviathan class. Fortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton like life forms on the, in the water, so they are no harm to you. My webcam quality is bad. How is my webcam quality bad? Okay, I'm gonna check if I can actually fix that. Uh, just give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Get it from over here. That would be nice. I don't think so. <sighs> Just give me a second. Small second, please. It's not bad at all. Well, I, I have it here on automatic and it's on a smaller resolution because otherwise it would be too big. But I'm actually seeing it here and my quality... Okay, my face is really light up because of uh, you see the yeah, reflection of uh, my thingy. But I don't see anything bad, so I'm sorry. But yeah, maybe your quality is just on low setting or something. I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. Okay, anyway, we have a new message. Get some drink. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing's trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Sea glide? Ooh. Okay, where's the signal? Where's the signal? Okay, it's 100 meters down, life path 17, stranded near a cave system and under attack. Uh, you're almost done with a med kit. I really want to take the med kit with me. And I actually want to build some deployable before on YouTube the comments are coming in like, You have to build some tanks, actually! So... 
No, it's the webcam you have, dude. No, well, yeah, the light. Oh my god. Okay, um, BK, I'm gonna give you a warning right now. If you don't stop spamming or all capsing, I will ask my moderators actually to give a mute because seriously, it's getting a little bit annoying. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, we wanted to make the high capacity tank. And we can actually make that. All we have to do is make some glass. Um, so let's see, what else did we need? Searching. Uh, oh, we need two glass. Okay, and then of course our own tank. Can we make another glass? I believe we can. There we go. Okay, so now we should be able to... Oh yeah, wait, I have to de-equip... Oh, excuse me. We have to de-equip this. Now, we can actually, with the tools... I'm actually looking at my own stream, and I actually think the camera is actually pretty good, so... Uh, let's see... Right here, high-capacity O2 tank! And with that, we now can actually have 135 oxygen with us. Which is amazing, I like it. Uh, can, do I still have enough for... No, I don't have enough titanium on me. Um, let's make one. And I don't gonna name these things because, well, they are... Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. So you're telling me that it will explode? Oh, we can actually make a rebreather as well. Ooh, that's nice. Rebreather makes it that our oxygen won't decrease higher the deeper we go. A rebreather actually search. Uh, it's actually like when you go very deep on the water, the pressure actually makes it that your um, way of getting oxygen out of a tank. Uh, is decreased very much so you take less oxygen out of your tanks so you will choke faster under deep circumstances in the water the rebreather prevents that and makes it that even if you are one kilometer down the water you can just breathe fine with your uh yeah o2 tank so i'm not used to streams i'm sorry i don't know the rules though then read the rules they are rules down there umbreon is really looking like read the rules dude Okay, anyway, uh, we need 5 imagine a wiring kit. Wiring kit needs to silver, and I don't have a lot of silver yet. But what I want to make, uh, wanted to make was a uh, waterproof locker. We just put it downwards and actually can store stuff in there as well. And you can name these, but I don't want to name these after viewers because well, we're not going to see these things a lot, sadly, so... Yeah, that's actually why I don't want to name these. So I'm just going to use... I'm just going to say this is Navi Annoying. If it fits, no. Navi Annoy. I'm, I'm fine with that. Navi Annoy. Okay, we don't need this right now. We don't need the quartz or anything like that. Uh, we don't need the table coral sample. We still have water that I really want to drink. And we don't need the creature rack at this point. Good. So we need to find more silver, and there is that place over there, but it's 100 meters down. So... We can technically go there, but it will be dangerous. Well, let's do it. As long as those things don't fart in my, in my way, I'm actually glad. They were talking about the sea mod, and the sea mod is actually a one-man submarine. So you can actually have a submarine for one person, and that's the sea guy. Well, you know, titanium, you can never have enough titanium. So when you actually see it, just take it with you. That's the only recommendation I can actually take. Or give, not take, give. There's something itchy in my nose, and it's really, really, really annoying me. And I don't want to pick my nose on the camera, but it's really annoying! Yes, danger means fail. You remember that you're telling that to the guy who beat this game on hardcore, right? Just saying. 
sorry, I'm just gonna pat myself on the back because I'm really hello. No, 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 look away, look away, don't look into the light. Whew, those things are scary. Those things will actually lure you in and then bite you or eat you or anything like that, and that's scary. Uh, I actually can scan those if I want. Oop. There's actually a sandstone one. I really want that, but I really want to first have more air. Okay, there we go. Okay, silver, please. That's lead. That's not silver. I wanted silver. I wanted silver for my birthday, and all I got was lead. Man. Well, at least it wasn't coal. Get it? I know Christmas is over, but still, I wanted to make a Christmas joke. Anyway, where's... Okay, there's the signal. <laughs> so you can scratch your nose. Well, I can scratch my nose if I want to, but it's about picking your nose. I really don't... No, I'm not gonna do that on camera. No. No. It's gross. No. I'll actually do it in the kitchen when I'm getting something to drink, because seriously... Don't have drinks here. I'm so well prepared. Actually, this setup is really working. Uh, there's actually a life pod. Uh, <gasps> that's a C. That, that's a C mod part. like Terraria with all the lead and silver. <laughs> yes, but they are actually the difference are not that something is stronger than the other thing. Here it's actually um, you need hi. You need different stuff for different things. And we got the data down on them we got a part of the sea glide. Oh god. I actually think those are the things that uh, attack them. Because there's no survivors here. Is there anything here? You actually said it was near a cave system. Is that the cave system you're talking about? Do I dare to go in there? I mean, it's really deep and I don't have a rebreather and I actually can put that signal up again if I want to explore there, but... Oh my god. What am I going to do? Hello, Thomas! Maybe I should actually put it in the title as well. You know, between bars, the E, the end, and the G. Passing 100 meters. I know, Navi. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh my god, this is... Wow. Okay, we're not going in here yet. Seriously, this is suicide if we're going this way. There's a lot of nice plants, but this is suicide if we're going down there. We can actually remember that because we can actually see that beacon of uh, Life Pod 17 anytime so I'm gonna actually make that a point of interest in my tab okay let's get some oxygen uh, let's see that's life pot 17 let's make that one yeah no I actually may able to make my my home base for now yellow and let's make that a point of interest and this one we actually already saw so that can go out and yeah, we don't. We, we explored it for now, so we will come back later when we actually can dive a little bit deeper with a rebreather. So again, we need silver. And I see some sandstone. Hurrah! Well, the problem is, is everybody's Dutch. Uh, I mean, I wanted to because it's a live stream, and a lot of people actually are very curious about Subnautica and actually kind of scared and don't dare to play the game because it has a lot of scary things in it. I actually thought like, yeah, let's let's just talk English. And my English has to be improved a little bit. It's been a while since I uh, talked a lot of English, so... Hello? I know you take a lot of inventory space that I don't have at this moment. If I actually can make my own base, that would be amazing, but for now I don't have any things that I can make my own base. Can you splooch me? I need some splooch. Thank you.
Oh, oh jeez! Nope, I'm quick, I'm quick, I'm quick, I'm quick! Not a radio signal. How many radio signals are there? Give me! Give me, you give me water! Oh my god, seriously! Ow! I'm really getting sick and tired of you guys! Why don't you have silver? You have sulfur, cave sulfur. I really don't like sulfur. That's for another reason. And I know we have. Give me that. I know there is another message, and I. Oh, there's actually titanium here? Huh. I don't know where you got to grab that from, but oh well. Welcome back, Cookie Boy. When I'm actually thinking of Cookie Boy, I'm actually thinking of Jinji from Shrek. Because that's a Cookie Boy. Well, yeah. Okay, anyway. There was another message that we can explore, but we still don't have any silver. At least I think we don't have any silver. Oh, we have one! I only need one more! Okay, then we're just going to explore. Then we're just going inside this cave. I don't care if I want some more silver, maybe? Can I get some more? What's this? Is that another creature egg? Is that a big one? It's a big one. I actually want that. Didn't saw it before. But this actually looks beautiful. Oh, it's too bad that you don't like Shrek. I actually enjoy it. I can actually say it's a guilty pleasure of mine. I actually thought I found bubbles here. Please don't poop. Please don't take a shit on me. I love it actually how people are going inside the stream like, what is this? I mean, it's in the title. It's right there. It's not that hard. It's a survival game. Please understand! It's not that hard! Okay, there's exploding fish here. There are exploding fish here. Well, there's... That's all limestone! I don't want limestone, I want sand chunks! This... Sandstone. <gasps> we have more silver! Great! Okay. Now we can make the wiring kit. Sweet! Okay, let's go back. Try to do as much as possible in English. We're all Dutch, but we understand you. I'll try my best. Well, thanks for understanding. I don't know. If you want to see this in Dutch, I mean, I actually want to... I, I know that there were a lot of English fans that actually were like, I miss your English videos, dude. And I don't know. I really wanted to stream again in English. I, hmm, why not? It's actually a Pokemon. Okay, anyway, we got silver, so we can actually make a wiring kit. But first, I'm actually going to press escape. Oh, no, wait, you know what? We have that message. Let's see what that message was from Crew 17. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. I don't understand how we're here now. I don't know why no one's coming for me. I came for you, but you weren't there! Stop blaming it on me! It wasn't my fault! I really want to have Vaporeon actually close to me now. Um... Good luck, CP. I need to go to bed. Good night. Good night, popular MMOs. It will be on YouTube, so you can actually see the rest. Sleep well. I actually have to work at night. And I have to start at midnight, so... Uh, anyway, we got another blueprint of vehicles. The CMOD. It can actually... It has uh, very good speed. CMOTs are wonderful. Blah, 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 blah. They can actually go until 200 meters, so that's actually amazing. But anyway, we got another message. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. I read. Hi. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. 
Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. Yes, I need... I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits, running errands for Altera. See what the long-range scans pick up in the meantime? Don't you just love it when you only can send a distress call and they don't actually think that you are in a distress? Like, I'm sending a distress right now like, HELP! SAVE ME! But the problem is, I can't say it. Emergency. A quantum detonation what? has occurred in the Aurora's drive core. What was that? The reactor will reach a super critical state in T-10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Okay, so we can now make a ready has been added to your blueprint database. That's amazing. And I don't know where I'm going to build my base yet. Uh, by the way, those bubbles that you can see right there, those are bubbles from one of those things that actually poop. So... So now we can actually make the radiation suit, which is amazing. Um, and I'm actually getting quite hungry at this point in-game. So... Well, I actually want to keep... I don't have the nutrition block anymore, damn it. Oh, I still have it. I want to keep that because for long distance traveling and all that stuff. So I'm going to put the egg away. And, well, I have the bladder fish that I can make for food. But I can also make them for water. But water, no problem. You know what? Let's just, let's just cook them. Because you can cook them as well. What do I need for that? Fiber mesh and lead. I can actually make that already. That's really easy to make. But first, I need to get some drinks. So just give me a moment. Yeah. Sorry, Evie. Ik ben breder dan ik dacht. Nog even jou, Judy. Nog even jou. Oh, gelijk jaloers, hè? Gelijk jaloers, hè? Ik vind je jaloers krekkertje dat jij bent. Zo, hè? Gaan we verder met livestreamen, jij, jongens?
Oh, they are doing fine. Only problem was um, Evie didn't have any food left, so I had to give him some food. <sighs> anyway, I'm feeling better. I need some drink in real life. So, well, we have the bladder fish that we're going to cook. That was actually the idea, so let's do that right away. And with that, we can actually get some food, which is nice. Okay, so why did I need actually a silver kit? Because I remember I wanted to build a tool. Uh, let's see, tools. Oh yeah, we need that for the habitat builder if we want to make our own base, which is really, really nice. That's actually for later, because we don't have any way of powering our own base yet, so... I'm always waiting till we actually have the multipurpose room for that, before I'm gonna build a base, so... We still have to wait for that. Uh, we can make another battery, but I really want to make that radiation suit, because that's actually priority number one. So, let's build that radiation suit very quickly, and darn it's dark. Um, I believe I did Majora's Mask in the uh, English once, and I'm planning on doing it Dutch, but not for a while at the moment, so I'm gonna do it someday, because I'm not planning on quitting with YouTube, but the problem is, for example, Paper Mario started nine months ago and it's still not finished, because, well, my life got really busy with events and all the time, especially working together with grenade cards, which I enjoy, don't get me wrong there, but yeah, I... I, I am a very busy person, so... Uh, let's make some more fiber mesh just in case. God, that itch is so annoying! Okay, so we have the lad, we can now make the radiation suit. Yay! And, wait, didn't we need for the rebreather? Ah, that's why we need, um, so I actually want to make that as well, but now we can actually go closer to the Aurora, which is nice. Let's see, how many bunnies do you have at the moment? I have two. I have Evie and Judy. Uh, let's see, laser 3D printer. Well, it's actually a fabricator, it can actually make things from materials, which is nice. So, I, I I don't know, I actually want to make it already. So let's make the wiring kit and go to the equipment. And I need one more fiber mesh. Did, did the radiation suit really need it too? Uh, let's see, radiation suit, where is it? It needed two, god. You know when I'm pissed off and actually Donald is coming inside. Melon, Melon lives with Greg. At the moment, I didn't have any space for uh, two bunnies uh, in my house at that moment. And yeah, Judy was already uh, here. So, and Melon was attacking Judy over and over again. So, Greg actually took care of Melon and Judy was living over here. Now, Melon actually uh, got young bunnies and Evie is actually one of those. So, Melon is doing fine. Don't worry about Melon. I'm counting the fail. There is no fail. I'm not gonna fail. I'm gonna survive because I'm a good survivor. At least, I think I am. Anyway, let's make some more of these. Oh, that itch is so annoying. Do you know when you have an itch in your nose and it's just sitting there and you can't get it out? Oh, it's so annoying. Okay, anyway, we got the rebriefer. The only problem with the rebriefer is we can't really use it right now because we need it well we need our radiation suit at this moment so we have the radiation helmet the radiation suit radiation gloves and of course our high capacity tank so we can actually explore closer to the aurora right now and that's actually exactly what i want to do you know the problem is i'm low on food and i also need another deployable so let's do that um Make a locker. 
What do you do have? What do you have? I don't know because I had to do some stuff. Well, we got some uh, things already done. We're actually making quite a good progress at this point with surviving, and it's getting scarier by the minute. Okay, there's Navi Annoy. So let's place this one there as well. Oof, come on, open it. Open it. Thank you. Uh, let's put our quartz in there. Yeah, let's just put all the materials that we're not going to use because we're going to explore a little bit. Uh, I don't need the mushrooms with me as well. The only thing that I do want to take with me is, do we have salt? Because then I can actually take some water with me and I also want to have some food with me. I have some salt here. Salty. And I do have some salt here. That's good. And let's catch some fish while we're at it. I can actually make you into water, but I actually am going to make some bleach. How many times am I going to say actually? So I'm actually gonna... Gimme, 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 gimme. You're a peeper. That's actually how they are called, peepers. It's actually kind of funny. Come on. Gimme, 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 gimme. Alright. I do have to say, I really enjoy the music of this game. Hello. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Give me that. Give me that. Alright. I think we should be good. You know what? Let's actually grab some more titanium. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, we're not. And I know it's one of those today. Maybe I... I don't know, actually. Tomorrow Gregory is there and there's some pre-recording that I have to do for Friday. So I don't know if I can actually stream tomorrow. I don't think so, but, well, let's not lose hope. Chat is silent. Well, they are like, you have to survive. You have to. There's no turning back, Stevie. You must survive. You must come back to our planet. You must build something and escape. Escape us quickly. Well, we have a distress call and maybe they will actually help us, so let's hope for that. I actually don't know. Maybe I will stream till 10 uh, p.m. or something so I can still rest after streaming. You know what? Let's use those fish to actually make some filled with water. Uh, that's okay, GB. No problem. Anyway, we need the water. We need food. Oh, actually, I don't care. I don't care. Just, just overeat. I don't care. Oh, I actually lost the health of that. Get arriving a math kit. Nice. Uh, got some more titanium that I don't need. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted the table call. A radio message. Seriously, we want to go to the Aurora. What? Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Doi. I didn't know how bad. How many of you? I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What well, else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. So you're coming for us. That's actually very nice, thank you. Um, anyway, I'm gonna make some bleach and I'm running low on power, actually. Because we're building a shitload of stuff. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's make some water out of that. Good night, BK Life. Sleep well. Okay, so we have plenty of water. Uh, yeah, I don't really need titanium, so I'm gonna put that into. You know what? Let's make a sun and moon reference out of the other one. Let's let's call this one uh, if, instead of locker. Let's call it Luker because Luker is actually the uh, sort of I believe he's a cop on the Pokemon Sun and Moon. Well, actually, in a lot of Pokemon games. So we actually have access now to go. What's that? Oh, that's also mushrooms. We can now go to the Aurora. I don't think we can do much there because we need uh, different tools to get in there. But we can do some stuff there. We can find some stuff. For, I believe that there are more sea mods um, fragments there. So that's actually a good thing. And there's something down in here. There is. Is that a laser cutter? That's the second one, isn't it? Or is it? I believe this is the second one. Okay, we only need one more. 
which is good. Okay, I know we can't go deep yet, but... Well, we can't sort of go deep. We have the Retriever, but the problem is... We can't go really that deep because the radiation of the place, so... Wait, what's that? That's a package scan? No. There's something in there. Shut it! Oh god, not you guys again. No, 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 my health is low! This is actually the place where I scanned the coughing machine. Is there something down here? I mean, it is dangerous. Is there something that I can scan? Is there something I can scan? I wanna scan stuff. Yeah, sorry, my nose is so itching. Okay, there's nothing I can scan. Hey, bro! How you doing, bro? Sorry. Every time when I see your name, it's like, bro. Dude, bro. <laughs> okay, let's just continue. What's up? Okay, now. Uh, this is actually looking quite nicely. Materials is not a problem that we need. We need to build stuff. And, for example, there is some stuff that we need to actually get some power in our own base. Which would be nice. So I don't want to pick up too much random stuffs. At this point. Oh, and by the way, the Leviathan that the other people were talking about. They are pretty close by in these conditions. So I... Really want to be careful here. Uh, I think that's random stuff. And yeah, that looks. No, you're not gonna bite me. You're not gonna bite. Ooh. There's actually a chest floating down here. Ooh, water. Thank you. What's here? And uh, what are you? Power transmitter? blueprint acquired. Well, I don't know if I need a power transmitter, but... Propulsion cannon! Oh, I do need that! Oh, we're finding all the things! Oh, that's good to hear. Oh, we're falling... Oh, we're finding all the things. Chances of survival are increasing! I think. I hope. Anyway... Air. Look at the size of the ship. I mean, we're now in the radiation field. If I didn't have the radiation suit, I would die very quickly. Um, let's see. There's this thing. Can I scan it? No. There's something over there. There's some fish. Let's light up the aurora. You know what? Let's let's just go a little quicker. Although this thing is running out of batteries ASAP, so... Well, actually not as soon as possible, but uh, very fast. That's what I wanted to say. Limestone. Is that sandstone? No, it's also limestone. I don't want to break limestone, seriously. The next leg goes really deep here. Worth it. Oh my god, this looks so scary. Oh my god, this, this is an underground mushroom biome. Oh my god, it looks so scary. I can't go there. I can't. Because I would run out of oxygen way too fast. Oh my god, it's so scary. Do you have a Nintendo Switch? Uh, no GB, I don't. That roar? That's the roar of the Leviathan. God, Life what? form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Okay. Anyway, I will try and give you a glimpse of the most dangerous thing. Oh my god, it's right there. It's right there. See that thing. Okay, don't see me. Don't you dare to see me. That is a Reaper Leviathan. Right there. Those things are deadly. I don't want to be here. I'm gonna leave 
very quietly now, hopefully. How much cost this game? Um, I actually paid, I believe, 15 euros for it because it was on the Steam sale and it was still in early development. I believe it's now 25 or something. Oh, 22.99. Thanks. Oh my god! There's actually a life pod upside down here. Hello? What's that? What do you have here? Creature decoy. Ah. Handy. Life kit. PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, anyway, in order to get inside of this, uh, of the Aurora, we need to have two different things. We need a shitload of, um, fire extinguishers, that's for sure. Uh, we need the propulsion cannon, that we just found another one. Go and cuddle one, no tanks. Seriously, it's like watching Jaws and then, oh, let's cuddle this shark. Let's just cuddle, it's so cute. Seriously, there's something wrong with you. Anyway, we need the propulsion cannon that we just found, so uh, that's the thing that we can make now. But we also need the laser cutter, and we only need one more fragment for that. And I believe this is... Oh, that's Metal Savage. I thought, actually, I saw another sea mod thingy. Fortunately, we didn't. Of course. Shut it! Uh, this looks like... Oh, there's also limestone. I don't care about any limestone! Seriously, all I do care about is finding a laser cutting tool, and then we can actually go inside of the Aurora. Or we're just going to find some Seamoth parts that are in the... Well, they are very much around the uh, area that we actually found the cave system, so... That's also a place that I really want to explore. I believe there was actually a sort of place that we could also explore, but when we got close, it actually had a lot of radiation, so I'm actually trying to find the building again. My favorite movie! Ah, jeez. That's a difficult one, because there's a lot of movies that I really like. Um, by the way, we found the... Uh, well, one of my favorite movies that I really like to watch a lot... Um, mostly Lethal Weapon, um, actually all of them, except for two maybe. I really love that because it also has a history that I had, um, and I, I don't know, I like these old action movies from, um, I can actually scan an office chair. I actually like those old police action movies from the 80s or 90s. I think they are really fun, so that's probably one of the reasons why I really enjoy watching them. So, Lethal Weapon is actually one of my favorites. I don't know if you know the movie, but it's really one of my favorite movies. So, yeah. The more you know. Anyway, there must be scannable sc uh, stuff here. There must. Well, you can also go inside. At least I think. Uh, I'm so... No need. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, nope. Okay, uh, it's... I think we need the laser tool here. <gasps> no, we need the repair tool and I got that! Okay, we can actually go inside a building. Nice! And it's getting night. Not nice. We can actually go inside here. Nice. Okay, let's repair this. So now it's repaired. Okay, here we go. Hello, goodies. Please tell me there are goodies here. Uh, well, there's a beacon that we already have. Uh, there's a command chair. Um, there is a big difference. One is, of them is the vision. You don't. Yeah, well, you ha can see very good in the dark, of course. So, and for example, I showed you that Leviathan, 
and on daylight you can actually see a little bit farther into the ocean while at night you can't barely see anything and i really want to check out if there's stuff here but i only see a door Is that everything seriously did i get through those vents i know i need oxygen very quickly well i can make it on a chair is that all sorry i'm picking my nose i know i still have that itch wow that music is so epic you can make a chair wow just wait until you can make a land mower! Certainly the, the land mower joke is coming back. And for the people that don't know what a land mower is, it's a Dutch for a grasmaier! Because we definitely need a grasmaier here. Here? There. Why are you so still? Why are you so calm? Well, I will catch you then. I don't care. Anyway, was that all? Just beacons? Nothing else? Nothing? Just beacons? I mean, we can ba We can build a beacon. That's. And I normally actually always want to have a beacon with me, so. Yeah, knights are more dangerous. Definitely. And I hear a Reaper Leviathan very close by with that roar. I believe there's some actually over there. I really don't want to glo go close to that. Definitely not. So let's just return to our base. Let's see if we can explore something. And then let's go and switch our helmets. So we can actually go a little deeper. What's that? That looks like... Oh, that's the other... That's with the explodey fishies. Oh, you actually... You didn't respawn? Oh, well, I don't care. I don't mind. Seems to be safer for me. There's actually also, uh, I believe this is a grass biome or grass field biome or how it's actually called. I don't know. I remember that there is a deeper one. And, oh, there's a lot of debris there. That's a heavy exit you have there, buddy. Yeah, there's a lot of grass on it. So yeah, a land mower would be a good idea. Wait, is that? Oh no, that's just... Oh! Well, that can be handy later on in the game. New blueprint acquired. But I actually want to make the sea glide. I don't want to have that. What's this? <gasps> I want this! Oh my god, we need this so badly if we want to make our own base. Oh, we only have one. Oh, where's the other one? Is there another one? <gasps> There's another one! Oh, guys, we can make a bioreactor. So we have power. We can make power in our own base. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Oh, my God, I'm so glad that we found this. Oh, God, this is so good. We can make a bioreactor. Can we show it? B. Welcome back, Cookie. Don't. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, I know, Navi, I know. Wait, what's that? There's something there as well. Hi, I need oxygen. How important hard duty? Sorry, what? How far they are today? That sounds like a cheat code, dude. You know, one of those cheat codes in GTA. How far are they do they? Oxygen efficiency decreased. I don't care. I really want to scan this bar table. I, hey, hey! I want to scan this bar table. Don't, do not disturb me when I'm scanning a bar table. Okay, so this is actually kind of too deep for us, but I don't give. Sh oh, apparently that was deep. So I just insulted an entire country by saying their language is a cheat code? I'm sorry! I didn't know. And I believe that thing that I see right over there is a very important thing because this is a part of the scanner room. And the scanner room is one 
very important thing if you actually need some materials. But it can also be a backstabber and that one viewer in this chat already actually have seen. Seriously. I'm still angry about it. Trash can, always handy. Blueprint acquired. Oh, by the way, actually, I got the translation of what the. Uh, wait, what's that? Is that a decline? Oh, it's another scanner room fragment. I want it! Even though it can be a backstabber. I need it. Is that another thing that I can scan here? <gasps> Seamoth! Okay, I know I need oxygen. Piss off you. Okay, I'm gonna get oxygen. Okay, we can almost make the sea glob, guys. Or the sea glob. The platform. The sea mod. Anyway, how do they? That means... How are you? Or how uh, is it going? Apparently. The things we learned today. Oh wait, I didn't have full oxygen. I need full. And I'm running ring low on power. I need more power. So I make I, I have to make another battery soon. But... Oh, we have a lot of progress this first live stream. I'm really happy. Make maybe already in the second live stream we can already start making passing 100 shut up navi i know what i'm doing and i don't care i actually thought that, that was an entry back in here you know you're ugly you know that especially when you growl so shut up I don't care much about you okay is there anything more i can scan here because i really want to go back to that other place I think we scanned every... Wait, what's, is this scannable? No, that's just a uh, door or what's left on it. That's coral. Okay, um, Cookie, we're not here in Danish class, so... I'm not gonna translate or say everything that you're saying right now into Danish, because, frankly, I'm trying to survive in this dangerous planet and you're not helping one bit. And we already completed the bioreactor, but I don't mind scanning some more parts. Okay, is there any more here? Because I see stuff there. These are... Is that also from a bioreactor? I know ox... Yeah, it's also... Well, it's more titanium. 30 seconds. Yeah, I know, Navi. Thank you for telling me that I have to hurry up uh, to the surface, because otherwise I'm gonna die a painful death, and nobody would like that. Right? And I also actually need something to drink. Boink, boink. That's better. Okay, now let's see if we can scan another Seamod fragment right here. That would be amazing. Although I think we actually scanned everything here. I mean, we can already make the bioreactor, which is a very good source of power. Again, can't say that en enough. It really is one of the best things in the game. So... The other thing is, of course, the laser cutter that we also still need to find. But I think they can go closer to life pod 17. But first I'm going to take a small break and actually see the chat. And maybe drink something in real life. That would be nice. So, wait, what was that? Oh, that's, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's a... Well, that's a cave. Oh. And I'm running out of batteries. <laughs> Darn it. Well, at least we are close to my life pod. Ah, oh, let's take a small break. Ah, uh, is it still YouTube? Yeah, we're not gonna cut anything. Oh god. Ooh, Jesus. Ah. We did a lot of stuff already. You know what? I maybe have to press the escape button because otherwise food and water are depleting. And we didn't die, so hardcore mode is actually still on. We almost died though because I forgot about my oxygen. Ah. <sighs> Do you have to work tonight? Yup. 
Remember, I'm still going for that Vaporeon. I really want that sleepy Vaporeon. Eevee, I saved enough money for it. Umbreon, I saved enough money for it. But that Vaporeon, I actually felt so sorry that... I, I, I thought it was so adorable as well. And I really was like, oh, Vaporeon, it's so cute. I want it, I want it, I want it. And... Yeah, not, not buying it. I mean, two of those are really expensive. And I really thought that those over... But I also, I, 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 I want that for Porion as well. Do you know the game Cards Against Humanity? Yes, I know that game. Ah, thank you. Uh, thank you, TB. I'm actually gonna send them a message that, you know, I have this extra shift tonight. I, I'm gonna send them a message like... Save that for Porion as well. What do you guys think? Should I go for the Vaporeon? I will... I actually gonna check if I can show you a picture. So just, just give me a moment. I'm gonna try and show you the picture. Um, if I have it somewhere around here. I believe I do. It's actually a nice... Oh, my Eevee folder is so big. You don't want to know. It's it's really big. Okay, I believe I put it on. Uh, no. Uh, there we have those. Ah, yes, I have it. Okay, OBS. Can I show a picture on this live stream? Uh, let's see. Monitor, outlet, chat. Logo. Technical difficulty, please wait. Okay, I can actually change that. Just give me a moment. I'm going to edit this scene. That we don't see right now. And I gotta make it a little bit smaller. Like that. And I'm gonna change the picture. Good idea. Go scan it with Viatin. Nope. You scan it. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, let's see. Where is the picture? Where is the picture? Okay, and now, whoa, whoa that's actually kind of huge. Um, now you can actually see it. This is the Vaporeon I actually was also thinking of, of getting. So that Vaporeon right there, I really thought like, no, it's so cute. I, I have the Eevee and the Umbreon. They are reserved for me already. I, I put them on reserve. But this one I was like, no, I really want that one as well. And the problem is, well, yeah, they, they are kind of expensive. So, because they are from Japan, they are imported. And that also is actually very expensive, of course. So, I, I really, I really, yeah, was thinking of, well, maybe if I actually have extra shifts or, um, I don't know, save up money, save up with doing groceries and all that stuff. Yeah, maybe it's possible to actually buy a third one. But the chance were very low. And tonight I got the call. So maybe I can actually still... I, and GB actually donated 5 euros. So I'm just going to push that to Vaporeon as well. If that's okay with GB. <laughs> uh, the price is 65 euros a piece. And I ordered two of them. So that's 130 euros. So another one would be another 65 euros. <laughs> But, well, it's sort of a collection of mine, and um, I'm going to show you these other ones. These are also from Japan, but I actually got this, these as a present from, uh, from Mirta, uh, from uh, a stream. That's, uh, these are, uh, that's the camera. So, well, they are huge. They, these plushes are bigger, oh god, seriously. Let's just show the whole studio, why not? <laughs> that plushie right over there that you can see is bigger than this one. And you see how big this is. I mean, it's like, this one is 40, 40 centimeters, 45. If you put the ears up, it would be 50, but these are actually very big. These ones are bigger. They are like one and a half times these. Those are really, really big ones. Where do you buy them? From the internet, I actually have some connections. <laughs> the, 
There is this um, website, any, uh, any way for you. Uh, any way for you. I, I don't know the website out of my head. Um, anyway, I will show you the EV one as well and the uh, Umbreon that I'm actually uh, ordering. So let me change that picture really quickly for you. Uh, up. I have so many pictures here. It's ridiculous. Um, here's the Eevee one. This is Eevee. And the Umbreon is right over. Let me give you a second. Right over here. There you go, that's the Umbreon. So how many Eevee and Evolutions dolls do you have at the moment? Um, more than 40? I believe. It's like a really nice collection because I really enjoy and love the Evolutions because of the YouTube that I'm doing and uh, the live stream, well not the live streams, but the uh, events that I'm going through. And all of these actually remind me of that, so when I'm actually having a stressful day at my work, these actually calm me very good down. So, I mean, I, I don't know if it's actually showable on the camera, but if I turn my camera a little bit that direction, you can actually see my couch, how full it is of plushies. I'm still working on how to put them very nicely and all that stuff. So, you can actually see, and on the other couch right there, there's a, some plushies. On the table there are some plushies. I'm working on uh, the unboxing video for tomorrow as well. So yeah, more than 40, definitely. Uh, there are also some still upstairs. So because they were uh, they were together with an uh, event. So anyway, let's uh, remove the picture. Poof. So yeah, it's quite a collection actually. <laughs> Yes, of course I love Eevee. Eevee is, uh, Eevee is amazing. And don't forget, thanks to Eevee, I actually stopped smoking. So, and that's no joke. That's really what happened. Anyway, I'm gonna see... Do I have enough time? Yeah. I'm gonna take a quick toilet break and then we're gonna continue and hopefully we can find uh, that we can build a CMOD and hopefully the uh, mobile vehicle station i believe it's called so we can build the cmod and then we can actually see if we can already find a nice place where we're going to build the base but that will be in the next stream but for now we have some objectives so i will be back in just a minute just give me a moment ah, don't worry judy ah. Eevee, Eevee. just say hi to the camera okay and of course don't forget this is also Eevee. Right here. Okay. Come over there. Come over there. Come over there. Yeah. Yeah, there's a camera. There's a camera over there. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the people. Hello, people. You, you don't like the camera, don't you? You should do like the camera. You should do like the camera. Oh. <laughs> wow, you're losing a lot of hair. <laughs> Maybe I have to brush you again. Seriously. That time of the year again, right? Good girl. Hey. Alrighty then. Can you explain that? How did EV let you stop smoke? Or is that a personal story? Two and a half years later. 
Um, no, uh, it's not a personal story. It actually happened with uh, conventions. And when we're going to search for stuff, I'm gonna explain how Eevee made me stop smoking. Um, first off, I'm gonna grab the Eevee because otherwise you won't understand one bit what I'm actually saying. This is actually the Eevee that we're talking about. This is the first Eevee I ever bought. It was actually on an online store and I didn't know a lot about plushies and all that stuff. This is the first Eevee I ever bought right here. This is actually the start of my um, collection. And well, look at look at the face. Just just remember this face when I'm talking about story. Just just remember this face seriously. So um, I'm I'm just gonna put you right on there, right? Look angry at me. Yeah. You're you're so angry. No, you're you're not hang you're not angry because I'm not smoking anymore. Anyway, <clears throat> we're gonna continue the game. Remember that Eve. Creepy face. No, it doesn't have a creepy face. It has a cute face. Anyway, um, the reason how I stopped smoking, um, I was on an event in um, in uh, High Islands called Elfia, and in that event, we... how is my inventory doing? And this was in April 2016, by the way, so I'm almost smoke-free for two years. Um, you know, I was there trying out the Pokemon Trainer outfit. And um, it actually was kind of funny. I had Eevee with me, of course. Uh, Pokeball, music, all the stuff. And we really had a lot of fun. And we were staying over by Eric, uh, the Metacarp uh, trainer, as you guys know him. And, well, Eric is, of course, not a smoker. So in his house, it's not allowed to smoke. And darn right he is about that. So I was already talking about it. I really wanted to stop smoking because, well, being an entertainer... Being at events as Mario or as a Pokemon trainer. And I forgot my rebreather. <sighs> so I already was actually thinking of it. But well, smoking is really addictive. So I really have problems with stopping with smoking. So at Elfia, um, one dude actually, a buddy of mine actually came around. Grabbed Eevee and he said like... Didn't you wish that your trainer would stop smoking? And I see that face of Eevee right into my eyes like, Yes, I want you to stop smoking. And I was like, I, did, I don't dare to smoke anymore. But I said like, it's going to be difficult, you know? It's, it's not going to be easy because, well, like I said, it's highly addictive and all that stuff. So it's gonna, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. So I promised... Eevee, and this sounds really weird, but I promised Eevee that I wouldn't smoke anymore in my car and in my house. The two places where I would smoke the most. And I really need to make another battery. Uh, I do have copper. I needed something else, didn't I? Can I make it? Yeah, I needed the acid mushrooms. Can I have acid mushrooms here? No! <sighs> of course not. Well, I do have copper with me, so I only need the acid mushrooms. But anyway, I promised Eevee that I wouldn't smoke anymore inside of the house and uh, inside of the car, where I would smoke most. So after Elfia, I went back home in my car, tired as crap, because seriously, an, an event is really, really tiresome. I mean, it's fun, but it, it's really exhausting, exhausting as well. So I came home went to sleep and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna clean the ashtrays out of the desks, I'm not gonna meh, I'm, I'm not gonna smoke anymore in the house anyway, so let's just do that. And next day I wake up, started to edit on a video on YouTube, uh, did some cleaning in the house, you know, standard stuff, and like five hours later I was like, hmm, I actually want to have a cigarette, but I promised that I wouldn't smoke inside the house anymore. So... I actually went outside and rolled a cigarette and I, I, I lit it and it was, it tasted horrible, it was terrible and I looked inside of the window and I saw this face right outside of the window on the couch looking straight at me like... So I threw the cigarette away and uh, yeah, put it in the closet and never looked at it again and a couple of months later I actually gave it to my father because I was like well... He still smokes, so throwing it away would be wasting, so maybe I can make him happy with it. And I just gave it to my father. He was like, so you stopped smoking? And I was like, yep, not gonna smoke anymore. So, 
and the, the most the most terrible thing is um, now I'm a non-smoker I really don't like to be in an area where people are smoking because I even think it smells very bad and I actually feel guilty of how many people I actually put through that um, yeah put to that um, yeah that disgusting smell because it's really disgusting so yeah smoking make e makes E.V. angry and other people actually told me that because I forgot my reprieve again <laughs> oh my god streaming in this game this is so hard anyway um, now people actually th uh, say that I'm addicted to EVs and all this stuff but I actually wouldn't call that an addiction I mean it doesn't smell it's not very expensive. If you buy one, it will be there forever. I mean, I had this EV for over two hour, two years now. So, yeah, I, I don't call this an addiction, and I really actually am feel comfortable um, when I have a stressful day at work. So, and of course, I also have a girlfriend that always helps me, and I can phone call and all that stuff. And my friends are always there for me. But I mean, it would be kind of weird actually to go to your buddy and say oh you're so cute let me give you a hug that would be very very disturbing so I keep that to plushies and I don't care how old I am I'm 20 years old get it I really 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 don't care is there a new mask already radio no there's no new mask okay cool um so first let's get my radiation helmet let's turn off this one let's put that one on thank you and actually, let's uh, make sure that we have plenty of food sources. It's better to be addicted to easy than smoking. Yeah, through that. And also, smoking, it's deadly. So, that's also a thing. So, really, viewers, don't smoke. I mean, people say it's cool. It's not. I've been that road 12 years. In the beginning, I thought, like, yeah, I'm gonna smoke because then I'm a part of the group, you know? Because... My entire family smoked. Uh, kids at school already smoked, and I was like, "Well, if it's, if it's, it's if everybody's doing it, then it shouldn't be that bad." Yes, it is. It's definitely that bad. Seriously, if you don't smoke, don't do it at all. That's the only advice I can give you. And Evie will get that as well. They really should put a picture of Evie on the cigarette pack. Well, the problem is it works for me because I'm a big fan of Eevee since Pokemon actually came out. Well, actually since Gold and Silver. Uh, that's when actually I started to become a big fan of Eevees. So, yeah, Eevee is really something that helped me through it because, well, I was a big fan of it when I was like a year or 12, 13-ish, sort of that. So, I think that's also one of the reasons why it helped me. And of course... I don't forget Siba that actually that's the dude that grabbed Eevee and said like don't didn't you wish that your trainer wouldn't smoke and put that face right yeah it, it was hilarious but for some I gave you a battery just work already sheesh seriously and the battery is already at 84% damn that's going quickly cookie that spoilers no fun Remember what I told you through Skype? You're not being very nice -ish. Mobile vehicle? Oh, fine. You can actually scan something here. We only need one more. Nice. I know there's a lot of stuff there. Um, well, I don't need the oxygen that badly. Okay, so there should be another Seamoth fragment around here somewhere. And um, to answer the question of the base, I actually think that I want to make a challenge because there is the life pot and right here, see we can actually go deeper now without the warning of, um, warning, blah, 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 you're getting too deep, blah, blah, blah. I actually am thinking of making a base here. And we want to explore this. But this is really, really dangerous, so we are not going to explore it right now, so... But anyway, that's the story about me, st uh, yeah, stopping, uh, quitting smoking, because smoking is bad. 
yes, I don't care that uh, it's actually because, hey, another creature egg that I never saw before. I want it, and I want the salt, but I really want to scan my own seam. Oh, God. Guys. It's so beautiful. Acquired. Thanks, GB. Well, I am very proud of it, and... Yes, Navi, I know. I already was focusing on it. Oh god, it's getting nighttime. I really don't want it to be nighttime. Anyway, um, all the money I saved up, yep, it went to plushies, but I don't care, actually. I mean, at this point, I have a couch full of adorable little plushies uh, of the evolutions, and otherwise... I would have a very black locks, let's put it that way, so... Hi, ah, you're interesting. Hi, can I, can I pick you up? New creature discovered. Reginald! Hi, Reginald! Do you want to be a follower on my Twitch? Do you want to like, comment, and subscribe? No, just kidding. I would never be that guy. Like, favorite, and subscribe! Okay, anyway. We need a mobile... Wait, put that... You know what? I'm just gonna scan this so we... Excuse you! Who did that? New creature discovered. Who bit me in my face? Or in my butt? I don't know. Yay, silver. Wait, what's that? Is that a thing? Oh, that's metal salvage. I don't need that. There's another sea mon- I don't need this! Oh, that's bio -rex. I don't need that either! I need the laser cutter. That's the only thing that we need right now. Because I know that mobile... Um... Thingamajing... Oh, that's actually a better charger. That's actually very nice. That's actually good to have. Give it. Thank you. And we need oxygen. Again. <laughs> 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Thank you, Nava. 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 Anyway, I don't know when I'm going to upload this because I'm going to put a small editing in it that it's going to be in English and that um, maybe strong language and all that stuff and it will be unedited, blah, blah, blah. That's something I'm definitely going to do, but I will upload it. Uh, let me know if you actually like this series and that you want to see more, you know, because live streaming, yes, and <gasps> oh my god, there's a mobile vehicle, but oh my god, we can make everything now, I'm so happy we can make everything. Oh, there's actually a PDA here. Battery charger? Is there also a laser cutter in here? That would make my day, like, wow. Anyway, I really want to make my own base because then I can actually make some lockers and um, I can actually put your names on the locker as well. And the first locker it's reserved is going to be for GB. I mean, seriously, he deserved that and you know why. Because he's an, awesome, he's an awesome moderator and he also helped with the Vaporeon that's coming our way. Hopefully, I still have to send a message. Hopefully, it's not sold out yet. But um, I will reserve it. It will come in here then on March 31, if I'm not mistaken. Because she will be at Comic-Con in Utrecht. I will be there as well. So you can write that down in your agenda if you want to. But definitely next live stream, first locker. That's going to be for GB or Jan Baron as we know him. And I actually jumped free. Hi there. Anyway, there must be more stuff. I mean, look at the size of this thing. There must be more stuff that we can scan. We have plenty of oxygen. We can make the CMOD now. We can make the mobile thingamajing. And our inventory is full, but I don't, really don't care. You know what? Let's drink some stuff and let's... We have a shitload of titanium. I really don't want to lose that feature, egg, actually. So we can make an, our own base. Shut. Don't you get go? Nuh uh No. I will throw my Pokeball and Vaporeon will come out and it will kill you. Because you're threatening my life. Vaporeon doesn't like that. 
Or as I call my Vaporeon, Aquamente. We are buddies forever. Um, there is a Comic Con on, I believe, March 3 and 4. Uh, that's going to be in Rotterdam. And the other one is in Utrecht. And that will be on... Uh, for I, Out of the heads... March 31 and April 1st. And no, that's not an April 1st joke. I would never make a joke out of that, so... And maybe I can actually ask for a discount if I'm actually promoting uh, the website. Because they have a shitload of Eevee plush. If you want to have your own Eevee plush, well, I would definitely just post the link in the chat like, well, you can order it there, and there are a lot of conventions, and they also actually ship in the Netherlands because it's a, Dutch, it's a Dutch company, so, yeah. Actually, a lot of my plushies came from uh, them, actually, because they are at Tomocon, they are at uh, Comic-Con, they are at Elfia, they probably are going to be at... Um, uh, Castle Fest as well, Castle Fest is also amazing. I don't actually think there's any more, any more scanning here, so... Let's see, what's the time? It's 10, 10 p.m. at this moment. Well... I can actually... Well, there's stuff over... Well, no, that's the same place, isn't it? Is this the same place? Is there a laser cutter here? I mean, yes, bio fragments. Great, nice, love it. Amazing, yay. We need laser cutters. No. Somewhere under the ocean is the fragment of a laser cutter. We need a fragment of a laser cutter. So you gotta put the names of the people who watch the streams on the lockers. Yep. Oh my god! How bad? Oh! Oh, don't, oh, God, okay, we're going back, we're going back, seriously, this is the perfect ending, this is the perfect ending, we found another laser cutter, we found the mobile vehicle, we found the CMOD, we have everything we need, this is amazing, seriously, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. Oh my God, next live stream is going to be a blast, we can build the mobile fragment, we can explore the... Um, we can explore the uh, the Aurora, we can make our own base. This is going to be amazing. This is really good. This is this is really good. So you are going to put my name on a locker. Only if you want, uh, Jasper. If you're like, no, I don't want my name on the locker. No, 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 no. Don't use my name on the locker. I, I don't like that. Yet. Then your name is not going to be on the lock. Then I'm just going to use one of the EV names because I actually named them all. And I don't know them right off my head, but I actually call this guy here Conroy because that means very close buddy. And he helped me. Well, actually, he is sort of uh, also a uh, um, leader. Conroy also stands for leader. And he actually led me to a smoke free line. So. All my EVs actually have a name. Before, I know plenty of you guys are going like, oh, this is sad. I don't care. Really. Yes, that's very nice if I come on a locker. <laughs> well, make sure you are on the, li on the next live stream. Because, of course, it's for the viewers that are live at the moment that we're building that. So, with exception of... Uh, did we get another message? No, we didn't get another message. With exception, of course, of uh, GB because, well, he's a moderator and... Let's see, yes, that's really cool. Uh, thanks, Steve. How was coming in? I hope I can meet you there, previous uh, Comic Con. I missed you. Ah, that sucks. <laughs> um, you know what? I will just take my ocarina and play as much as possible, and hopefully, you can actually hear the sound of the ocarina and find me that way. So, we're just gonna try that. Anyway, it's 10 p.m. Many people want to go to sleep. Also, my neighbors will be very angry if I'm going to yell if I'm getting scared of something. So, I'm gonna save this game right now. I'm gonna upload it very shortly and we got a radio message. Great. I don't want to play this. Because I have a feeling that I know what this is going to be and I really don't want to play this yet. So, I'm gonna save this for the next time. Thank you all for watching this live stream. It will be on YouTube. 
YouTubers, if you want to see more, uh, let me know through the comments, of course. And live stream is going to continue. But if you want to see more uh, for the YouTube, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Chad. And with that, I'm going to leave now. Bye-bye!